Hi everyone, uh, this is Satish Oli, Civil Engineering Department. So today we are continuing uh, the part of pumping. So previously we have ended uh, till the type of pumping and uh, uh, what points we should keep uh, or we should consider while you tend to select what type of pump you required. Okay. So now continuation part is an economical diameter. So what exactly a meaning of economical diameter? So economical diameter in a pumping main is nothing but you should select a diameter in such a way that your diameter should be cost effective. It should be less expensive and maintenance cost is also less in that. So normally when you speak an economical diameter, what we do? We tend to reduce the diameter of that <coughs> pipe itself. So what happens when you reduce an uh, diameter of that pipe? Okay. So when you reduce in diameter, what happens here is there is an increase in the flow of velocity. Okay. So when there is an increase in the flow of velocity, what happens? It increases the cost of pumping. Okay. Although what I can say there is a uh, the uh, the cost of the pipe is reduced by choosing a high velocity. Okay. But what it does here is it increases the horsepower requirement. Thus, what it does it it increases the cost of pumping. Okay, so now the word optimum here is nothing but so optimum diameter should be in such a way that which together the pumping cost and the annual maintenance or can say annual expenditure should be minimum. So your diameter okay which has been provided should be in such a way that it should be provided such optimal condition okay that you tend to have a less expenditure so that is called as an economical diameter of that pipe okay so diameter which is provided with respect to this condition is known as economical diameter of that diameter of the pipe Okay, so it is nothing but which is together pumping cost and total annual expenditure cost is minimum. Hence, what happens here is if, for example, if you choose less economical diameter pipe, okay, then that chosen one, for example, if it is an your economical diameter is say around it is 24 uh, meter sorry uh, you you take it as an uh, say around it is around a 24 centimeter diameter pipe and if you are chosen less so then what happens the head loss okay in that what happens there is the head loss will be high and the cost pipe will be less because of you have you have in uh, the economical diameter is 24 centimeter you have chosen a 20 centimeter pipe so naturally the cost of pipe will be less but head loss will be more due to that head loss what happens there is okay okay due to that what will ha happen there is the head loss will be much higher and the cost of pumping shall be more than the resultant saving of that in that of that particular pipe itself because of that head loss will be more next similarly if your economical diameter is say 24 if you are chosen more than that if you are chosen a 30 so then what happens so now the cost of pumping will be less but it increases the cost of pipe Again, the, there is a resultant what happens there is there is much more quantity of water you are going to pump and the saving will be less over here. Okay, the savings will be less over here. 
do to choose when you need to choose an economic diameter of the pump there is a certain equation empirical equation that is been given as d equals to 0 0.9721 1 1.22 under root q okay so we can uh, we can choose uh, from 0 0.972 to 0 0.112 q so relationship of optimum velocity here is you need to consider an optimum velocity which lies between 1.35 to 0 0.8 meter per second so rigorously when you when they have made a testing that they have worked out the velocity should be kept in between 0 0 0.8 to 1.8 meter per second so this is a graph which is being plotted with respect to an annual cost versus a pipe size so when they consider an economical uh, diameter by using this equation they have found out that it is quite effective one okay there is much less of maintenance cost operation cost okay and it is much more efficient one next one this is all about economical diameter of pumping main now next one there are certain point which should you should keep in your mind when you select or even you locate a pumping station that first point here is it should be far away from that contamination zone or a pollution zone itself okay it should be above high flood level always because if you put it in a lower level what happens during a flooding time your pump will be submerged and it will cause damage to your pumping station this location should be in such a way that there should be a provision of future growth and future expansion that is can be done very much easily okay and if you are placing the pump in a river okay it should be in such a way that you can you can withdraw a sufficient quantity of water during the peak duration also and even in a dry season okay there should be an availability of water in that river itself okay when you select this location okay you should consider the probability of fire hazard also okay many times uh, due to overall working and all continuous working and all the pumps may get fire in that okay so these are the some of the points so thank you thank you very much this completes your theory part of pumps in the next video you're going to see regarding problems on pumps itself so thank you thank you